So after going free diving last weekend, I realized that I needed to make a sounding line to measure the depth of the water. So far, I've collected a pool noodle. This is going to be my flotation. I also have 100 feet of white paracord. I'm gonna tie knots in this every five feet. So it'll be like uh, the old school way that ships would measure the depth of the water. Next, I need some PVC from Lowe's. And then I have some carabiners coming today from Amazon Prime. Oh, and then when we're all done making it, we're gonna have to test it. So I got three quarter inch PVC pipe and that actually fits just about perfectly inside my flotation here. I also picked up a cordless drill. I'm gonna try to drill through the PVC to make things solid. So I did forget to grab a weight for the end of the rope and that's gonna be a problem for sure. I got the carabiners that I ordered off Amazon and I made a mistake. They are super tiny. Way smaller than I thought they were based on the picture. But I'm going to get another one from Lowe's maybe tomorrow because I think I can get heavier duty ones that will work much better. DIY fail, number two. I took the pipe, I drilled three holes, one on each end, one in the middle. I tied the rope off to the middle, that way it won't spin freely around the axle. I tied the pool noodle off to the end of the pipe, that way it won't come off. And, and I didn't do it too tightly because I don't want it to tear through the pool noodle. What I'm still missing though is a carabiner, because the ones that I got were too small and I need a weight. So after church today, we're going to be going back to Lowe's and we're going to get that. And then we're going to go to the lake and test it. Count the dots. One, that's five. Twenty feet right here. It is so cold down there. Touch, baby. over 35 feet, so 35. 35, 36 feet. 36 feet right here! Hey! <laughs> that actually worked really well. All tied off. <laughs> 